Hi, this is Mike Silly. I live in an apartment building in San Francisco and I wanted to get a notification on my cell phone whenever somebody rings the bell downstairs, but I don't have access to the intercom or uh, any other wiring, so I remembered that I have a Smart Things Hub set up and one of the items that you can buy for this is the so-called multipurpose sensor which measures a bunch of things like temperature and open close and also vibration and since the speaker of the bell in the apartment vibrates a little bit every time um, somebody rings the bell downstairs I figured why not hook up the multipurpose sensor to that bell and then hook that up to the smart things hub and then um, get the notification going uh, on my cell phone every time uh, somebody like the postman rings the bell downstairs. Now what I did was take off the plate that holds the intercom in place and located the speaker which you can see here. So if you attach that multipurpose sensor with a piece of double-sided tape on to the speaker it will vibrate a little bit every time the speaker uh, makes a sound and that's all there is to it um, on the hardware side now we just need to set it up in the app and if you go to add a new thing uh, you basically select security and the Samsung smart things multi-purpose sensor here then you press connect now and uh, make sure that the sensor is very close to the hub otherwise it won't recognize it now you see it has recognized it. Now we set a name um, that we can recognize later on, like a uh, doorbell. And we I want a custom setup, not the uh, usual alarm settings. Uh, the, the app is kind of counterintuitive at times, so um, it might take you a couple of tries. Here uh, I go to uh, Smart Home Monitor Custom. Here the option in the middle and that will give me the opportunity to add under security a monitoring rule that I will uh, configure my bell for. It first asks me what kind of device I want and I want the vibration sensor and uh, once this is done I need to set up how often I, I want that to happen and I just say every time I keep sending new events every minute because I want to get notified if uh, someone rings multiple times. Now press next couple of times. Done, done, done. Uh, here's a field for a custom message. I want that to read doorbell rang and this is the message that's gonna appear on my cell phone in case this event uh, fires. Let's do, uh, yeah, doorbell just rang with a colon to be grammatically correct. Now push done a couple more times. Next until you get um, this monitoring rule that you can name. Also not strictly necessary but um, just to make sure we're gonna find it later on. And after the final done, we get the green bar and it says it's now installed. So if somebody rings the bell downstairs and my iPhone is locked, like displayed here, I will get a notification and a ring if I've configured that. That's pretty helpful, so I at least know if somebody's ringing the bell when I'm not at home. And I hope this was helpful. Um, the Smart Things Hub and its sensors they're still under construction as it seems and the app needs some serious rework in terms of um, being intuitive to use but it's a good start and if you like to experiment I can only recommend that you try it out alright I hope this was helpful enjoy see you next time